CBS Sports welcomes you to Knoxville where a light rain is falling on the mammoth crowd of more than 107,000. The Tennessee Volunteers take the field. And moments ago, Houston Nut. It's a great day for football. Smokies ready to as the number one team in the nation puts that ranking on the line against the Arkansas Razorbacks, also 8-0 and, oh, and ranked number 10. Off from Tom Laderette, let's hear this price standing back at the three-yard line. A huge game in the Southeastern Conference and with larger implications on the national front. And it's Peerless Price from the three. And out to the 26-yard line. He was tackled by Derek Embling, what safeties and linebackers ordinarily do. Third down inches. Looked like Martin collided with the fullback Bryson, and I don't think Travis Henry got there. He was stopped short by the Razorback defense. Very well in every game. Beyond granted emerging star at safety. Here comes the blitz. And Sterner throw it away. Al Wilson came on the blitz. And the ball to try to use formations like this to spread them out. Martin with a blitz coming. Passes. Almost intercepted. Randy Garner, a defensive end, dropped out into the flat. And the Hogs beat Ole Miss last week at home in a torrential rain. The time sleet was coming down. It didn't dampen the spirits of those great fans. Here's Madre Hill with the first first down of the football game as he goes out to play clock down to two and they got it off and the deep pass a little bit too long for Anthony Lucas it was a good check off as Chris Aikens on the punt for the second time they come after him and Aiken was hit fair catch called for by Copeland Tim Sewell ran into Aiken and a flag was thrown. It's amazing that he got that punt off for 34 yards. It looked for certain that it would be blocked by Sewell. Back. This is a playbook formation we just drew up right here. Sterner, flush from the pocket, throws on the run. Deep down the middle, and it is incomplete. Intended for Emmanuel. Back here in Knoxville, while you were away, Arkansas punted down to the Tennessee seven-yard line. And on the second play from scrimmage for Tennessee, Travis Henry, or rather Travis Stevens, fumbled. He was stripped by Zach Painter. D.J. Cooper recovered at the 25. Madre Hill, a couple of carries to get him at this point to the 14-yard line. And now on first and 10 from the 14, that was Hill again, leveled by Raynock Thompson. Let's go back and look at the fumble by Travis Stevens caused by Painter. Zach Painter, 37, he knifes in from the side, and oftentimes when you come in from the side on a running back, it jars the ball loose. That's exactly what happened. Arkansas, a very quick, aggressive team up front, gets to that fumble. And out of that pile came D.J. Cooper. So now Kurt Sterner has them second and 11. They've not been a great red zone team. Below the national average in scoring touchdowns. Here comes Sean Ellis. Sterner throws, caught. Emmanuel Smith breaks a tackle. Touchdown, Arkansas! The junior from Clinton, Mississippi. Tied right away. Adds the extra point. He's bigger than Florida, you think? Uh, I, I promise you they're quicker. They're not as big, but they are really fast up front. Now third down and long. They need to get to the 40. He's going for longer than that and has a man open. Cedric Wilson. Down at the 25-yard line. Receiver early. Two receptions in the first four games. 17 over the last four. After the pick of the 50, Martin set again. Back at the 33, Ryan Hale credited with the sack. You affect the offensive team. Three wide receivers on third and 18. Wilson, Price, and Copeland. Short drop. Quick throw up for grabs. Intended for Copeland incomplete. Again, David Barrett in coverage. And Mike Berry probably coaches offensive linemen as aggressively and, and as good as anybody in the country. Jeff Hall trying a 49-yard field goal and hit the upright. Undefeated at this stage. Crowd roaring now after the illegal motion penalty makes it first and 34. Back at the nine-yard line. Sterner from the goal line going deep. 
Flag thrown. Lucas has it. Out of bounds at the 47-yard line. He beat Steve Johnson. Definitely been a big advantage for their team this year. Play action fake by Sterner. Looking deep, throwing deep, looking for Emmanuel Smith, and he has it at the seven-yard line. It's a long, long game. Sterner in trouble. Lofts it up in the double coverage. It's intercepted by Deion Grant. They put 11 seconds back on the clock. 21 left in the quarter. Martin with a defender at his feet throws incomplete for Peerless Price. Martin has absolutely no time. And the Hogs begin the second quarter with second and 11 on their own 38 yard line. Hunt Sterner. Throwing the one-on-one -on -one coverage. What a catch by Lucas. Anthony Lucas down the sideline, and he scores. Anthony Lucas. 62 yards to Lucas, the junior from Toledo, Louisiana. Todd Lauderup adds the extra point. Matching up against Arkansas. We mentioned during the starting lineups, the coaches were praising Johnson for his steady play all year. T. Martin throws an interception to Zach Painter. Again, the pressure forced a hurry throw, and Zach Painter has his number 27 out wide with Michael Williams. Sterner setting up a screen to Madre Hill. And Eric Westmoreland back in the game after leaving earlier with an injury. Made a big play. Cedric Wilson in motion on first and ten. Martin runs away from the blitz and throws. Was it a catch? The officials don't seem certain. Those are beautiful hands and real athletic skill. First and ten. Chains have been repaired. Henry the quick hitter. Travis Henry. Dragged out of bounds by Kanoi Kennedy in Arkansas. In the AP poll, number one in the BCS rankings. Moving along the line. No flags down. Martin goes down. Back at the 19-yard line, Carlos Hall credited with the third Arkansas sack of the game and his fourth of the start attempt. Out of the hold of Benson Scott. Right down the middle. And the number one team in the nation is... It's the first time since then, this late in the season. Unbeaten teams have gone head-to-head -head in this conference. This is Chris Chakuma. Shoved out of bounds in Tennessee territory at the 42-yard line. And you learn how to carry. He fumbled three times in the game here in Knoxville between these two teams in 1996 when the balls hammered the Hogs. Right now it's the Hogs doing the hammering, and it's Chikuma with a first down in second and seven. Play action fake on the bootleg. It's Sterner throwing on the run, and it is caught for a touchdown. Anthony Lucas. And ladder up adds the extra point. Kansas State trailing by three. Martin throws, man, open, caught. Jermaine Copeland with a first down out to the fourth. We welcome you back to Knoxville. 50 seconds of the clock running remaining in the first half. While we were away for the news update, Tennessee scored a touchdown. We'll show you that in a moment. This is first and 10 Arkansas at its own 41. Chris Chikuma. Stop for no game. And it seems Arkansas, even with good field positions, content to take the 11-point lead to the half. Here is the touchdown pass right after you went to the update. The very first play, a 36-yard pass from T. Martin to Peerless Price. Peerless Price just ran by Orlando Green, number 21, the defensive back for Arkansas. Price just uses outstanding. Tennessee should get excellent field position. Two men back deep for Tennessee. Moving along the line, a flag down. The Volunteers look to be offside. Excellent punt by Aiken. This is Jermaine Copeland from his own 39. The ball comes out. And Arkansas has recovered. 
Eric Branch ripped it out. General, but they really stress trying to force turnovers. Another offside penalty, it seems, against Tennessee. Sterner throws. Is it a catch? Yes, it is. Anthony. Impressive in the cadence today. Several times has drawn Tennessee offside. Third down and eight. In the flat. It is general incomplete. Nathan Norman, the intended receiver. Fred White had the coverage. And able to hit the long pass. Todd Laderette trying a 33-yard field goal. And it is good for the senior from Pensacola. Offensive momentum, and that's critical as well. On first down, Travis Henry ripping through. Fighting for every yard to the 48-yard line. Tanoi Kennedy made the in the Arkansas defense. Henry over 100 yards again. Now here he goes again. Dropped down by Kanoi Kennedy, who saved the touchdown at the 31-yard line. The time he needs to hit his receivers. Everybody up on the line for that Arkansas defense. They try to strip the ball and cannot, and Henry spins away. For another first down to the 17-yard line. Randy Carter. First and goal at the four, the number one team in the nation. Down by 14 points for the second time today. Trying to get within a touchdown. Will Bartholomew now. The fullback leading the way for T. Martin. Touchdown! Personal athlete taking advantage of his legs. Jeff Paul's leg has the extra point. The stadium is shaking. Sterner trying to quiet the crowd. Throws, tipped, and incomplete. Deflected by... They do have the three points as the result of the fumble on the punt return. T. Martin on the rollout. Throws. Pop. Short of a first down. Cedric Wilson. Arkansas. He just makes a lot of plays. He's got a nose for the football. He gets around. Makes plays. He was maligned for two years as a starting quarterback. Gave up a lot of big plays. He's much more comfortable in his new position. The Rover. For the sophomore from Frostproof, Florida. Here he comes again through a hole. He's down, close to another first down at the 22-yard line. Implications today, perhaps. Out of the flat. Great one-handed catch by Curtis Price. Short of the first down as he goes up. Reception for Price. Third down, two at the 12. Option, Mark Hoops. First down. He squirts down to the five-yard line. Zach Painter had him by the shirt. Kennedy starting his 25th straight game today for Arkansas. Big defensive play here. Martin, throwback screen. Great move by Pierre Price, and he's knocked out of bounds by Zach Painter at the four-yard line. The 21-yarder. No problem for a Hall. And the ball's inch closer. Now down by four. Even started. You can imagine the popularity level now with their 8-0 record. Good throw by Sterner for a first down to Anthony Lucas. To the Oklahoma State style of play, so he played both sports there. Chris Chaklima carries those positions. He has three brothers who are in coaching, including a brother Danny, who's on the Arkansas football staff. Sterner throws, man open, caught! Lucas again in front of Andre Lodge, and back in for the Tennessee defense. Big difference here, obviously, between a touchdown and a field goal try. There's Wilson with the sack! Play of the drive for Arkansas. They've taken more than five minutes off the clock. He's trying to set up a screen. It's Joe Dean Davenport, and it's incomplete. The tight end couldn't catch it. And Todd Lanarette to give him a seven-point lead. It is blocked! Dion Grant blocked it. Al Wilson has it. Al Wilson down the sideline. Out of bounds at the 36-yard line. First down. Three wide receivers blitz, flag down, and Jamel Harris with a big sack back at the 50 yard line. They're playing number 10 Arkansas. Arkansas leads by four, five and a half left. Martin throws well short of Cedric Wilson. Is the tailback behind Nathan Norman. Sterner play action out of the end zone, throws out to the 10. And some breathing room for Arkansas as Michael Williams. Huh. First and 10 from the 13-yard line.
Chakuma. It's an arm tackle. Burst free. Chris Chakuma. First down, Arkansas. Dragging tacklers out to the 31 yard line. 35 straight in conference in the month of November. Huge play here, third down and three. Play action fake. Sterner trying to turn the corner. Out of bounds. And it looks like they're going to mark him out short of that marker. The orange. Chris Aiken is the punter. High snap over his head by Benji Mahan and alertly booted through the back of the end zone by Chris Aiken. Flags fly. Benji Mahan is the snapper and Aiken had no chance. Get into field goal range. Right now they're just trying to get a first down. Third and nine. And Martin throws incomplete behind Cedric Wilson who slipped as he made down this year. This is huge, fourth down and nine. Perhaps the season hanging in the balance. Martin zips it over the middle, and complete! Broken up by David Barrett, intended for Pierce. 154 left. Chakuma, the power runner of the two tailbacks, stopped immediately. And a timeout called, but 12 to go for the first down. Sterner lost the football! Oh my goodness! He stumbled and fumbled, and Billy Rotliff recovered. All down to brace himself as he was stumbling, and he fumbled. Travis Henry. Well in the field goal range now, down at the 28-yard line. Henry. Again, think back to the decision to use the timeout before punting moments ago. Henry has a huge hole. Travis Henry inside the 20. First down, out of bounds, or is he? Yes, they will stop the clock, perhaps just to move the chains. But the play goes to the 13. From here would be about a 30-yard field goal for Hall. And they'll be conservative now with a Henry Bridge tackle. Fights down to the two-yard line. First and goal, Tennessee. Melvin Bradley saved the touchdown. He remains in the game. Bryson joins them in the backfield this time. Henry up and over. Touchdown, Tennessee! They're just going to take a knee on the extra point play. Would have been a 35-yard try. Philip Fulmer apparently didn't want to block and a run back. Hey, Lucas, the only one to the left, and he'll double him up as well. Stern in trouble. And he's across the line of scrimmage now. Sterner needs to get down in a hurry. He does, and they'll stop the clock to move the chains with nine. Just a three-man rush. Sterner caught by Lucas, but he's on his knees, and that's the game. Philip Fulmer on a cloudy night in Knoxville played under his lucky stars. They were very fortunate to escape for the victory over this devastated Arkansas team. Now for Mike Mayock and Terry Donahue, I'm Sean McDonough saying so long from Neyland Stadium in Knoxville. We'll see you next Saturday right here at Neyland Stadium when Tennessee plays host to Kentucky.